Hello, my dear students. In this video, we will discuss the rational numbers, and this will be the first part only. So, in this part, we will discuss the introduction of this rational number, and we will discuss two new things here, important things here: equivalent rational numbers and standard form of rational numbers. Apart from this. I also want to tell you that in this in the part of two, that means in the second part of this video, we will discuss representation of rational numbers on number line. So without wasting our time, let us start the video today. So first of all, we must know what is a rational number. So rational number. You probably have got in your uh, classes, a natural number, whole numbers, integers. You did not do that. After that, what comes? Rational number. Integers is the first lesson of uh, plus seven, if I am not wrong. So, so the set of natural number we know, the set of whole number we know, the set of integer we know. So now comes rational number okay so what is rational number a rational number is any number that can be expressed in the form of a by b where a and b are integers and b does not equal 0 examples 5 by 6 minus 6 by 11 minus 13 by 9 1 by 2 5 by 1 10 by 1 20 by minus 5 these are the common examples of rational number. So you may be thinking that these all are looking like fraction. Yes, you are right. These all are looking like fraction. In fact, all fractions are examples of rational number. Also, you may be noticing that in this 5 by 1, in this 5 by 1, if you think 5 by 1. 5 by 1 means what? 5. So it means 5 is also a rational number. Okay? 5 is also a rational number. Similarly, 10 by 1. 10 by 1 means what? 10. So 10 is also a rational number. 20 by minus 5. 20 by minus 5 means minus 4. Okay? 20 by minus 5 means minus 4. So it is also a rational number minus 4 is also a rational number because minus 4 can be expressed in the form of a by b where a and b are integers and b does not equal 0 this is very important b does not equal 0 okay so integer here we got a word integer integer a quick review integers are these numbers no? minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 positive natural number negative natural number and 0 okay this is 0 0 is also an integer and negative integer, uh, uh, natural number and positive natural number these all are uh, consisting of uh, or these all comprise the integers okay so I hope you are clear with rational number it's a question is 0 a rational number it's a very important question. Is 0 a rational number? In fact, yes, 0 is a rational number because 0 can be written as 0 by 1, 0 by 5, 0 by 99, and so on. Okay, now you may be thinking, uh, in fact, all the natural numbers are rational number, all the whole numbers are rational number, all the integers are rational number. Yes or no? Like that. Now you see this one. It will be very clear with this one. Natural numbers we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. etc. Whole numbers 0, including the 0, all the natural numbers. Integers, negative natural number, positive natural number, and 0. Rational numbers minus 3 by 2, 1 by 2, 2 by 3, all the rational numbers. So you see this figure. In this figure, it will be very clear. This one. 
natural number is this one okay all the natural numbers are whole number yes or no all the whole numbers are integers all the integers are rational number now positive rational numbers what is positive rational numbers we will discuss numerator and denominator are either both positive or both negative okay when both the numerator and denominator becomes positive either become positive or become negative then we call this one a positive rational number it is also a positive rational number why it is a positive rational number because minus and minus will get cancelled so remaining only 27 by 83 in fact it's a positive yes or no and in front of 9 there is no sign it means it is plus in front of 8 there is no sign it means it is plus so both are positive here and both the numerator and denominators are negative here but when both are either positive or negative then we uh, call them a positive rational number then what is negative rational numbers numerator and denominator are such that one is positive and the other is negative one is positive and the other is negative like that uh, the examples you can see here it will be very clear um, this is plus 7 okay and this is minus 9 that means one is positive and the other one is negative then it's a negative rational number one is negative this one minus 19 and this one plus 11 so it means this is also a negative integer sorry negative rational number you can see this one minus i am writing in front of this bar okay so this is also a negative rational number you see this number 3 minus sin 30 okay it will be very clear with you minus and minus it will it, it will become cancel that means it will become plus yes or no minus and minus cancel each other and so it will become plus but in front of them the minus sign is sitting so consequently all this uh, you know this this number will become a negative rational numbers now see equivalent rational number now see equivalent rational numbers equivalent rational number now we try to see this figure in this figure this figure implies 1 by 2 this figure implies 2 by 4 this figure implies 1 2 3 4 4 by 2 by 4 8 but have you noticed all are same okay suppose uh, this is a uh, this is a pizza okay this part is given to you okay and another pizza these two parts are given to you in an another pizza these four parts are given to you will you think that this will be more than this or this will be more than this no all are same in fact so that's why we call them equivalent rational number equivalent means equal okay equivalent means equal so 1 by 2 is equal to 2 by 4 2 by 4 is equal to 4 by 8 making all are equal 1 by 2 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 are all equivalent rational numbers equivalent fractions you earlier you have already got now see equivalent rational numbers on the same topic type 1 if any non-zero integer non-zero huh? non-zero means except zero any integer either negative integer or positive integer but it may, cannot be zero that is what non-zero integer is multiplied with the numerator and denominator with the numerator and denominator of rational number then the new formed rational number then the newly formed oh, sorry uh, newly formed a newly formed rational number is equivalent to the original rational number you see this example 3 by 4 I am writing only 3 by 4 okay this is the rational number I have so if I multiply with both the numerator and denominator a non-zero integer say I am multiplying 2 okay so what will you get 3 to the 6 4 to the 8 so 6 by 8 so 3 by 4 is equivalent to 6 by 8 similarly if I multiply 3 with both the numerator and denominator I will get what 3 to the 9 4 to the 12 so 9 by 12 is also equivalent to this 3 by 4 
Similarly, 3 plus 12, 4 plus 16, 12 by 16 is equivalent to 3 by 4. Type 2. In this case, if the numerator and denominator of a rational number are divided, uh, divided. In the previous one, we have got multiplied. This one is multiplied. But in this one, you will get division. If the numerator and denominator of a rational number are divided by a common non-zero, here is also non-zero integer, then the newly formed rational number is rational number n is equivalent to the original rational number. I will correct this one in the PDF. Uh, I will give you. Okay. In this, in the description of this video, we will get a link to download the PDF of this video. PDF means you can download all what you have you are looking uh, the, you know the writings of this video you will get in a pdf i will give you the link from that link if you click um, then you will get the pdf to download okay uh, from the rational number is equivalent to the original rational number so you see this one i'm taking an example with this example it will be very clear minus 48 by 60 if I divide it by 2, then minus 48 divided by 2 and 6 is also, also divided by 2. Then what will I get? Minus 24 by 30. Yes or no? So this minus 24 by 30 is equivalent to this one. Equivalent means equal. Okay. If someone asks you to make this 60 30, to make this 60 30, what will you do? You will divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. Then it will become the denominator, you see? The denominator becomes 30 here. Okay. Similarly, if you divide both of them by 3, then you will get minus 16 by 20. Similarly, if you divide both of them by 4, you will get minus 12 by 15. Okay. So, minus 48 by 60 is equivalent to minus 12 by 15, minus 16 by 20, minus 24 by 30. Okay. We have changed this 60. And, uh, to 30 and to 20 and to 15. Now standard form. Standard form of a rational number. Okay. Standard form of a rational number. There is two point only. There are two points only. Denominator must be positive. Okay. Denominator must be positive. It must be in its lowest term. Lowest term means you cannot cancel them. Okay. Now see this one. 3 by 5 again okay. 3 by 5 so in this 3 by 5 you can see the denominator is positive yes or no? 5 is positive yes the first point it has cleared okay then secondly it must be in lowest term can you cancel this 3 by 5 uh, to its lowest term no 3 by 5 is the lowest term so it is a, it is the standard form it is in standard form similarly minus 7 by 15 the denominator is positive yes denominator is positive is it in its lowest term yes it is in its lowest term you cannot cancel further okay so that means this 3 by 5 and minus 7 by 15 are in standard form okay 9 by 15 and 13 by minus 25 in this case you see 9 by 15 the denominator is positive yes the denominator is positive 15 and it must be in lowest term is it in its lowest term no it is not in its lowest term because 3 3s are 9 yes or no? and 3 5s are 15 so in fact it can be taken into standard form that is 3 by 5 but 9 by 15 is not in standard form the standard form of this 9 by 15 will be 3 by 5 only okay this way you can take any rational number to its standard form okay what will you do first you have to take them to the lowest term and also you have to make the denominator positive how we will uh, make the denominator positive i will show you in a another part okay or if you have the book with you then you can see the examples given in your book how to convert or how to take a rational number into its standard form okay then you see this one 13 by minus 25 you see the denominator is negative here okay except that the 13 by 25 it is in its lowest term but denominator is negative so it is not in standard form yes how to make it standard 
how to take it into its standard form you can easily take it to the standard form just by multiplying minus 1 if you multiply here a minus 1 okay it will become what minus 13 okay similarly if you multiply a minus 1 here okay it will become what minus 1 minus 1 and 25 minus and minus will get plus and 25 ones are 25 so in fact the standard form of this 13 by minus 12 25 becomes minus 13 by 25 it is the standard form of this uh, rational number okay this way you can take them into standard form if you are not understanding how to take a rational number to its standard form you can ask me and i will be trying to clear the and clear your doubts okay it is the end of this video and if you uh, have any doubts you can ask me directly in my whatsapp group i have the i am i already have given you my whatsapp number that is seven five seven five nine three nine five two nine you already know you can ask me in my whatsapp group thank you very much for watching the video